Israel wants to see a Middle East of progress and peace. We want to see the three great religions that sprang forth from our region, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, coexist in peace and in mutual respect. What, 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 should be, what should be the future of the Middle East 10 years from now? I'll tell you, uh, it should be based, the whole concept of stability, security, statehood should be based on several parameters. First of all, uh, we have to accept that it is very, very important to create a coalition, a Sunni coalition that will be led by Turkey. Yes. What should Israel do? Iran is a huge threat. We cannot live with uh, Iran having a, a nuclear military power. Uh, we should not accept it. The question is uh, how much time do we have and what should we do? Now, for me, how much time do we have is, uh, is, is, is with a correlation to what should we do because if, if we are going to act unilaterally without any American or international support, without creating the atmosphere in the Middle East, uh, it is not only that we shall have to face the reaction. Uh, probably it's too late. All what we can achieve with our military power probably is to delay the program for, I don't know, 12, 18 or six months. Uh, but if the assumption is that we are a part of a coalition that based on a kind of a Sunni coalition and America... What do you mean by Sunni coalition? Sunni coalition that, that means that Turkey with Egypt, with Jordan, with Saudi Arabia understand that the major conflict is with Shia led by Iran and they create this coalition, as I mentioned before, in order to create this coalition that will face Iran, the Palestinian-Israeli coalition. Okay, so this is the coalition. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan says Turkey must accept that it needs Israel. The two countries are seeking to normalize ties. Turkey was a key regional ally of Israel until the deadly storming by Israeli commandos in 2010 of a Turkish aid ship bound for Gaza.